The V-split is a method for deploying hose from rig to door with either inch and three quarter or two and a half when you don't have enough room in front of you to flake the hose out. From the quick attack bed, start by pulling the bottom loop, not the section that's connected to the two and a half inch discharge. Pull until the slack comes out approximately down to waist level and you can control the nozzle. Flip the stack so it's on your shoulder. Refer to the Academy Engine YouTube channel for the video on how to flip hose. Once the stack is on your shoulder and you begin to move away from the rig, you can begin to let the top loops come off the stack. Once you recognize that you can't deploy a hose any further in front of you, maybe you're coming down an alley or a hallway and as soon as you turn a corner, the point of entry is right there, divide the stack in half. If the stack's on your right shoulder, use your right hand to grab the bottom half of it, including the nozzle. With the opposite hand, hold the top half of the stack. Next, shrug the stack off your shoulder and face back to where you just came from while still holding the top and bottom halves in your hands. As the two bundles come off your shoulder, begin to separate them, making a V-shape. It's important to wind up with a nozzle on the outside of the bottom stack or your line will get tangled. Before letting go of the two bundles, take a step or two back towards the target so the bundles will pay out a little. Next, go back to the bottom of the two bundles and grab the middle bite of each one. Take these two bites back towards where you just came from to flake out the stacks. Once the line pulls straight, open the bites before returning to the nozzle and calling for water. Here's what it looks like from above. Firefighter gets to where they need to drop the stack, makes their V-split, comes back to the bottom of the stack, grabs the center bite on each bundle, clears behind them, make sure there's no tripping hazards, and pulls the stacks out until they're nice and straight. Next, open up these bites so it doesn't kink when it's charged, then return to the nozzle, flake out any additional hose, and call for water. Finally, here's the view from in front. Fighter approaches their point of entry, holds both stacks, shrugs it off their shoulder, and turns and faces where they just came from. Make sure the nozzle's facing the outside before grabbing the two center bites in the stack. Walking backwards, clearing traffic as you go, straighten out your line on each side. If there's a little slack in the line, fix it before coming back up. Flake out additional hose, call for water, and prepare to fight fire. Another way of flaking out the hose line after performing the V-split is finding the coupling. It should be in the middle of the V-shape you created or very close to it. Take that coupling all the way back to where you just came from until the lines are straight on both sides. Bring the coupling back up to the nozzle and call for water. If you're using the inch and three-quarter cross lay, the finish is similar. Split the bundle in half and shrug it off your shoulder like in the flat loaded two and a half. Hold each bundle as you turn to face them. Drag the bundles forward a couple of feet towards the target and then straighten the stack out. Go back, grab the middle bites of each bundle and straighten those out. Once you've done that, come back up the line, bring your 50 foot coupling up to the nozzle and call for water.